Do you need to replace the motherboard on your Precision 3561? Well, I'm going to show you how. Also, you can click the top right of the screen to find this part or tools or additional help on our website, including written step-by-step -step tutorials with detailed images. Now that that's out of the way, let's jump into it. First, unscrew the bottom base cover. Then use a plastic scribe and or your fingers to pry apart the bottom base cover. Then disconnect the battery. I recommend sorting out your screws as you take apart your laptop. It'll make it that much easier during reassembly. Now unscrew and remove it. Now pry apart the locking tabs to release and slide out the RAM. Now unscrew and slide out the 2230 NVMe solid state drive. Then unscrew and slide out the 2280 NVMe SSD. If your model has discrete graphics, your heatsink will have six captive screws that need to be loosened. And if your model uses UMA graphics, it will have four of these screws. Now unscrew and disconnect the cooling fan to remove the assembly. Now unscrew and remove the Wi-Fi bracket. Then disconnect the antenna cables and slide out the Wi-Fi card. Next, unscrew the LCD bracket and disconnect the LCD cable. Now unclip the locking tab and disconnect the remaining LCD cables. Now unscrew and remove the inner frame. And then disconnect the speakers. Then disconnect the CMOS battery. Next, unclip the locking tabs and disconnect the motherboard cables. Now unscrew and remove the motherboard. The reassembly. Now the reassembly is as simple as retracing your steps in reverse. Now remember, before replacing the heatsink, I would recommend wiping off the old thermal paste. And then apply a small dot on each chip before screwing back in your heatsink. If you still need help, you can visit partspeople.com and view printable DIY instructions to help you along the way. We also have playlists of thousands of Dell tutorials for hundreds of different models, so keep checking back. Thanks for watching.